we talk about things like rest, which is sleep and also sort of downtime. Nutrition is super important. So the brain is a, obviously a tiny proportion of your body weight um, and only weighs a few kilos, but it uses up, up to 30% of the breakdown products of what you eat. So when you're asleep, your brain is, is eating up 20% of what you ate that day. When you're at work um, and focused on something, it's using up about a quarter of what you eat. And when you're stressed, it's using up, up to 30%. Oh, wow. Yeah. And so obviously people think, what should I eat if I want to be healthy generally, or I want to lose weight, or I want to build muscle mass. But the sorts of people that, you know, like you and the people that I work with, aren't thinking enough about what should I be eating so I can make the best decisions today? What mm. should I be eating so I can solve complex problems? What should, should I be eating so I can understand what's going on, like in terms of interpersonal communication in my te- with my team, for example? And then there's everything from hydration, exercise, um, breathing, mindfulness, curiosity. Yeah. Like there's, there's so many factors that contribute to brain health. And they're probably not dissimilar to things as a doctor that you would know contribute to cardiovascular health or gastrointestinal health. But, you know, we at Heights feel that if you approach everything with a brain care first attitude, yeah. then you're kind of taking care of the rest of the stuff. Like, if you eat and drink in a way that's good for your brain, your skin and your hair are going to look nicer. I mean, and I, that sounds like a, such a girly thing to say, but people make a lot of really important choices based on what they look like. And, and, and that's fine. And that probably has like beneficial effects on, on our, you know, our brains and our guts as well. But considering this organ is so energy hungry and it's so important in terms of everything else that happens in your body, I feel like we need to flip that narrative so that it's starting with, okay, what can I, what things can I do today that, that are going to be the best for my brain?